Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are at home. We have restocked everything. Enough of everything, I think. Full uh, fuel tanks. I think enough supplies. And uh, what are we building at the moment? Uh, we are building our uh, mega port. And as soon as that's done, we'll start building the orbital station, I think. Uh, how far are we from growing? Uh, we're at 66%. Let's fill up on the growth incentives. And oh, uh, use stockpiles during shortages. Yes, you can do that. So that is all good. The next industry we want is refining and then we want a heavy industry after that. So we are colony size 5 now, colony size 6, well no we're colony size 4 now, colony size 5 will give us the next one which will give us our refining, 6 doesn't give us anything but 7 gives us our heavy industry. But before that, uh, we'll be able to get the orbital station up to at least a battle station and maybe even a, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, I don't remember the name of the next level, but we'll want to do that. All right, now what we're going to do today is we're going to go bouncing on in because we need, uh, we need some money. 264,000 we have. Uh, we'll be losing money next time, uh, next month. We'll be losing around, I guess, 60 or 70,000, which means that we won't have the money for our battle station, which we want. So, bounty hunting is the name of the game. And we have over here, or 225,000, we have a fleet carrier, a research platform. Command carrier, guard cruiser, universal cruiser, and some other stuff. We're heading over there for that. So near Baron World in the Dusak star system. So let's show that on the map. It's there. Let's head in there. We don't have any colony threats at the moment, which is nice. Pirate raid is not on us, so we don't care. And we do need to start considering setting up another colony and also getting some agents so that we can start raising relations with some some uh, factions and well hopefully getting some alliances going that would be really nice our relations with Sylphen R&D are obviously really good uh, oh, you know what before we jump in there let's just save it's been a while. I'm gonna fly in the corona there. There we are. Hello. I whoops, sorry about that. Uh, if you could hear that in the mic. Uh, just banged the table hard uh, so I don't think this should be too much of a problem oh let's see sluggish vents that's very nice unreliable very nice sweet shields very nice blockade runner 18% speed not good rapid shield emitter German oh. crew mm. Powerful capacitors. Okay. Let's move in. 
I think we'll send in you as well. And what do we have left? We have 45 left. Hmm. If we do you and you to force our battle, but we've been in two of those before and that went fine. You support that. You support that. We'll head up to the sensor jammer. We have quite a lot of fighters with us. Head, buddy. Ah, don't fly in my way. Okay. Those two are not taken yet, so. I guess they'll be coming from the left. That would be my guess anyway. Well, it seems like something's coming. Let's strike you. We can get a missile cruiser out of the way early, that would be pretty useful. Get out of my way, I back you up. Are you all the way out there? You attack that. Yeah, I know you are. You're an idiot. Okay. 
Okay. There's something down. That thing is retreating. Let's tell you to support me instead then. We'll bring in the um, the EOS. Time to be doing that now. Now it does. Let's try to do. That thing is going down fast. There we go. Right, King Cobra retreated. So we can get our EOS in here. Our EOS will support me. That research ship is tough. Alright, let's put a strike on you, you go after that. Search and destroy. Tia has lowered combat readiness, but I think that's okay. Let's 
get in there. There we go. All right, let's target you. Why can't I target you? Strike you. You. You're already searching and destroying, so that's fine. Put a strike on you. You're searching and destroying, that's fine. Let's just do a quick event while we can. Here you. One yet? No? No, we have. Right, let's just see what's left. Do we see anything? Well, we see that thing there, but don't really care too much about that. Let's just claim victory. Um, that thing retreated, so we need to pursue him. the second in the command to handle it. And we got the fleet carrier, good. Consider ship recovery. Uh, command carrier, no. Structural damage, malfunctioning comms, erratic fuel ejector, no. It's too bad, I wouldn't have mined that uh, research platform. Pick through the wreckage, take everything. Free the high value prisoners isn't bad. That's diplomacy. Auto pulse laser, high intensity laser, voltage or ASM 5. Anti shield medium missile. L Rider XRM launcher. Okay, some new weapons that I haven't seen before. That's cool. Yeah. Let's grab what we can. Okay, well, that's that done. Then we have another bounty down here. He does have a battleship, but I think we can do it anyway. 61 days. Uh, we don't want to do you. We, we want to do this one. map uh, uh, orange primary star in the Salernus nebula so it could be well it's you let's head down there and let's save before we do it
but I want to check before we head into that combat uh, how how many stars it is because if if it's more than four we're not doing it. There's some derelict ships flying around here. Let's just take a look at those. That wasn't worth much. Three D mods. No. It wouldn't have been bad with a venture class cruiser though. And there's something down here. A heavy tender. Only one D mod. Compromised hull. You have three fighter bees. Badger actually isn't a bad ship. Hmm. Let's recover you. And then there's something up here. Storm, storm. The BD2 class cruiser. Compromised hull glitch sensor already no. Not now. Against all its operations. Alright. So that wasn't a bad little hull there. something in here. This is the right place, right? Yeah. And he was near a barren world. This barren world there. So, uh, that's the only barren world, so no. This barren world down there. Alright. Let me check this one out first. There he is. Didn't see how many stars it was because it happened so fast. All right, skinned engin skilled engineers plus 24% repair rate, regular hard points. That's good. Stable shields, that's not good. Durable engines, that's not good. Efficient flux vents, not good. Volatile flux core, good. Efficient flight decks, not good. It doesn't have that many fighters though. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see. We can get you in there. And then we have 18 left. Which means you can come in. Question is, do I want to bring you in instead? We need 22. Now, let's do that. Deploy. You support that. You support that. I guess we'll grab that nab buoy. Grabbing the nav buoy. It's ours. We'll just hang out down here and wait for something to arrive. I'll be out front. Okay. got deployed so probably something will be arriving here soon oh, here we go 
Spieltag. That should go down pretty quick though. We're not gonna be pulled out of whack. Uh, it's just a bunch of smaller ships. Cruiser, so we'll strike you. All right, the first ship is down. Second ship is going down. out of the way. Engage that. Yeah, you get back. Victor's got destroyed. For God's sake, these two ships are annoying. Rex class disabled. Do we even have a line? Not really. Let's pull back here. We're letting them pull us a little bit out of whack, which is not great. Instead, Silius class destroyed. So 
overloaded. Let's take them out. There we go. Outstanding. What do we have over here? That thing is almost destroyed. Let's see if we can't destroy it. Overloaded. Come on. Destroyed already. It's just out of range. There we go. I think I'll head over and Retreat. Uh, what did I tell to retreat? Nothing, I hope. I said it as target. It's a standard cruiser. coming in here we're a battle carrier we're working on this battle carrier let's tell you to engage that I can take this cruiser pretty sure destroyed. That was their battle carrier down here, I guess. So we'll put a strike on you, and we'll tell you to destroy that. Okay. And dealing with this, it shouldn't be a problem. Standard cruiser. That thing is taking damage already. And so is that. I'm gonna pull back a bit to kind of get back to my friends. There goes the other battle carrier. Which means you target that, strike that. Interact class destroyed. All right, we have friends. Let's target you. Thing is going down. Oh. And this all seems to miss. Everyone, engage that, and I do mean everyone. Come on. 
Claim victory. Let's pursue those few that made it away. Everything is destroyed. Let's consider ship recovery. A heavy standard cruiser with glitched sensor array. Hmm. Dictator class trades as any semblance of neurability for unrivaled staying power. Its blistering rain forward facing weaponry sits behind layers of thick armor, a winning combination that earned the Dictator its place as the Imperium's primary ship of the line. One medium universal, two medium missile, two small energy, two small universal, two medium hybrid, four small hybrid, four small ballistic. I don't exactly remember what, what the glitch sensor array does, so I think I'll recover it. We can always sell it if... Uh, if we need to. Okay, a lot of weaponry. Okay, let's save. So 232,500 plus 22,800. Uh, very nice. And we do not have enough crew, so we will mothball you. Glitched sensory. The ship's sensory is damaged past any repair short of complete hull overall. Weapon range in combat reduced by 7%, sensor strength reduced by 25%, supply cost to recover from deployment reduced by 20%. Okay. I think we'll keep it. It's a heavy cruiser, and I like heavy cruisers. For you, guard a mining fleet, okay? That's fine. We have two character points to spend. Mm. Every deployed ship grants 1 to 4% to top speed of allied ship, 15% on the upper limit for top speed bonus, 20% upper limit for top speed bonus. Okay. Fighters from piloted ship, not so interesting. Plus two stability governed colony now. That is interesting. I can't get that down. Plus 25 effectiveness of ground operations fleet. Okay. We could also start get, getting some of this stuff up here. to max 
confirm. That gives us some faster uh, command points and stuff. And in the next one, I think we'll head home to fix up our ships and uh, get some more crew and stuff like that. And drop off some of our... But it's gonna have to be next time because we are over time. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.